वेलकम टू आर एम सी ए बिशप चैनल मै गॉड ब्लस यू फॉर लाइकिंग सब्सक्राइबिंग एंड शेयरिंग दिस चैनल मै द लॉर्ड रिवॉर्ड यू टूडे फॉर लिसनिंग दिस स्पिरिचुअल टॉक विथ प्रोग्रेस एंड सक्सेस इन वट एवर यू डू एंड वेर एवर यू गो मै गॉड एंड लाइटन यू बाय दिस टॉक माई डियर फ्रेंड पोप फ्रांसिस स्पीक्स ऑन हार्ड टाइम्स इन प्रेयर Prayer is understood by the great spiritual masters as the elevation of human heart to almighty God. It is not an easy exercise for various reasons. That is why we do not find many people setting aside time for it. Pope Francis said, "Christian prayer like all Christian life is not a walk in the park." He pointed out that so many of the great praying people we meet in the bible and in the history of the church did not have a comfortable prayer but encouraged us to never forget that jesus is always with us continuing a cycle of reflections dedicated to christian prayer the pope focused on the theme of spiritual struggle and how the great masters of christian history recognized that prayer is not always easy for our human nature one reason why prayer is not easy is that we bring god always in the end or as the last resort god's doctor said that nothing can be done only god can do something is the desperate remark we often hear god is the last resort only those who have the habit of prayer bring god in the beginning of everything prayer the pope said can certainly gives great peace but praying is not something easy every time we want to pray we are immediately reminded of many other activities which at that moment seem more important and more urgent almost always after putting off prayer we realize that those things were not actually essential at all and that we may have wasted time this he said is how the enemy deceives people some have tried to justify why they don't pray by saying that it is not interesting it is not it is boring god has not answered the prayers etc this is a common experience it is an illusion to think that prayer is always interesting and always have results the holy father reflected on how even some saints have lamented the fatigue and discomfort of prayer and yet continued to persevere in prayer for years without souring it without perceiving its usefulness silence prayer and concentration are difficult exercises and sometimes human nature rebels against them he said we would rather prefer to be anywhere else in the world but not there on that church pew praying faith is not easy since sometimes it proceeds in almost total darkness without any points of reference one thing we need to accept is that even to pray we need god's grace so the first prayer should be for that moreover doubt is one of the worst enemies of prayer pope francis who has long experience in prayer said some doubt whether prayer can truly reach the almighty why does god remain silent faced with the elusiveness of the divine others suspect that prayer is a merely psychological operation something that may be useful but is neither true nor necessary if someone does that he could be considered at maximum only as a practitioner of prayer and not a believer in prayer life of prayer was difficult even for saints but they were always consoled from the fact that Jesus is always with them in times of trial pope francis said it is good to remember that we are not alone that someone is watching over us and protecting us he re- recalled the trials faced by the hermit saint anthony the abbot when prayer became a difficult struggle he was disturbed by his ordeal but resisted when he finally became serene again He turned to his lord with a tone almost of reproach where were you why did you not come immediately to put an end to my suffering and Jesus answered Anthony 
I was there but I was waiting to see you fight Jesus was proud of him similarly when we struggle with our prayer life remember that Jesus is looking at us to see how we fight struggle and finally overcome he will be proud of us when we continue to insist persevere and cling on to prayer even when there is no visible results there are moments when god sees how we struggle and then his heart melts in compassion and grace is granted immediately pope francis gave a personal testimony of a laborer who did not attend mass every sunday his child was critically ill there is a basilica of our lady of lujan the patron saint of argentina almost 70 kilometers away from his place when he got there it was 10 pm and the basilica was closed but the laborer spent the whole night praying at its gates and when the church doors opened on the following morning he entered the church greeted our lady and went home to find that his daughter was already healed struggling to make oneself heard through prayer is the moment of god's compassion flowing into the believer's life this is how miracles happen they are not magic or technique as some celebrated fools propagate the simple truth is that it is just a divine response or intervention to the struggle of a believer who is on his knees in prayer prayer accomplishes miracles because prayer goes straight to the tenderness of god who sees us as a father does pope francis does not mince words when he said that it happens that we ask for a grace that we are in need of but we do so without fighting for it here is the punch he says prayer is a fight and the lord is always with us i thought i was alone but i was not said pope francis then he assured that jesus is always with us my dear friend if in a moment of blindness you cannot see his presence but you will in the future at the end of your life looking back you too will say like pope francis i thought i was alone but no i was not jesus was with me so my dear friend never give up on prayer set aside a time to pray every day let god see you are struggling in prayer and he will show mercy on you this will encourage you more to be faithful to a solid prayer life that's how we can rebuild the church again that's all for the day now my dear friend share this message with your near and dear ones later please share with each other why you liked these talks this small act of showing interest in spiritual matters will make god happy and he will bless you abundantly let us pray o oh god bless the rmca family of these regular listeners eternal father grant them the humility to be obedient to your commands the courage to be witnesses of your son jesus and the desire to bear the fruits of the holy spirit lord jesus bless them to be faithful to the church your mystical body and give them victory in defending her O Holy Spirit kindle in your child the fire of faith in one creator god in one savior jesus in one holy catholic and apostolic church and in universal brotherhood let every rmca listener be blessed and be protected from all evil with the intercession of mary and joseph now my dear friend i give you my apostolic blessing May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. It is good to listen to these talks one in the morning 
and another in the evening it is like an ongoing faith formation and a soft spiritual retreat wish you all the good things in life yours in the mission of the church bishop franco molakel